Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. On the menu today, we're going to do a bit of barbecue. We're in the garden, in a new place, got a new barbecue, so we're christening that, firing it up. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So, we've got a lovely fish here, that's called a sherry fish. Got some lovely marination on there. Lamb chops, a couple of chickens done in a different style each, and some corn at the back. Beautiful. Let's get on with it. Okay, so here we go then. So, I've got some lamb chops there, I've got like nine pieces there. What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of beat them out or hammer them out just a little bit, get them seasoned, pop them in the fridge overnight for our barbecue tomorrow. Okay, so what I've done is hammered them out a little bit. I mean, not too much. Now what we're gonna do is add some spices to it. So let's have a look here. So what I've got here is for this amount, two teaspoons of turmeric and the same cumin and salt and pepper. So on that all goes. Then I've got like a tablespoon of garlic there, chopped. And then here, I've got a nice chili relish. You could use a chili sauce. It's up to you kind of what level you go out of heat. And then some corn oil, sunflower oil, or some other type of neutral oil. What we're gonna do is get in there, give that a mix. Okay, and that's my marination done. Now, if you wanted, you could be putting some um, papaya in there. Papaya really helps tenderize any sort of meat. There's an enzyme in it that really, I think it's actually called papping, that really helps break down the meat. That's it, so I'm gonna cover that with some shrink wrap or cling film, whatever you call that, plastic wrap. That's gonna go in the fridge overnight. Let's move on. Okay, next up, we've got a couple of chickens here. These are about a one kg each chicken. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spatchcock or butterfly them. So what that means is breast side up, breast side down. What I'm gonna do is like two fingers worth, I'm gonna cut all of that out, all the way down, and then it will simply open out. Let me do that. Okay, so what I've done is, I've, as you can see, I've cut that out. So I've taken those two out, so it's like the whole back bone there, and then it flattens out like like so. So you've got a nice butterfly or spatchcock chicken. Now I'm gonna do two different spices on them, two different marinations, so let's get on with that. All right, so I've got that now in a bowl. What I'm gonna do is just gonna hit that with some decent olive oil. And then gonna go with these guys. Salt, pepper, turmeric, and that black one there is black lemon or black lime powder. So same as before, we're gonna give that a little mix up, we'll be back. Okay, so that looks fantastic, doesn't it? So same procedure, we're gonna cover that with some plastic wrap or cling film, whatever you call it, in the fridge overnight on the barbie tomorrow. Let's do the other chicken. Okay, so we're in now with chicken number two, salt and pepper. Corn oil, sunflower oil, canola, or something kind of neutral. I've got a dark soy sauce here. Use light if you want. Here I've got some hot pepper sauce again. This is a Jamaican Encona type, which is quite fiery, scotch bonnet, but really tasty. You can adjust that and add a different type if you want, like a Tabasco or something less adventurous. And then I've got tomato paste here. Very simply, and once again, we're gonna get in with our hands, give it a nice mix. Okay, there you go, so that's looking beautiful again. So same again, shrink wrap, plastic wrap, in the fridge, overnight. Now, these are just what I'm doing. Of course, play around with it, get some barbecue sauce on there if you wanted, extra pepper, different spices, garlic, lemon, up to you. Overnight, tomorrow, we're gonna to do our fish. I'm not gonna do that today, we'll do that on the same day as the barbecue. Sleep well. Okay, good morning. So this is the barbecue day. What we've got here is some spices and some stuff for our fish. So let me just run through that. I've got some lemon juice or lime juice. I'm gonna get a couple of lemons inside the fish as well. Lots of chopped garlic. A Little bit of corn oil there, some bay leaf. And then here I've got salt, pepper, chili powder, and paprika. Let's have a look at our lovely fish. Say hello to Sherry. This is called a sherry fish, it's big. I mean, look, 
It's a big one. It's like a sort of two and a half, three kg fish. It's been descaled, de thinned, and cleaned inside. What a beauty. Let's get some spices on that. Okay, so I've got it in a container now. We're going to get all our garlic and we're going to throw that in. We're going to get our salt, pepper, chili powder, and paprika all in there. The bay leaf. The little bit of oil. The lemon juice. And here I've got some cut lemon, fresh lemon. What I'm going to do now is we're going to give that a good old rub around, get some gloves on and just rub it around, get it all over the place, inside and out. And then when we finish, I'm going to have the bay leaf and the lemon put into the stomach here, inside there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to cook this one with silver foil. Back in a moment. Okay, so that's had a nice kind of mix around in those spices and I've popped the bay leaf and the lemon inside. Next up, we're going to do is get some aluminium foil or silver foil, whatever you call that, and I'm going to wrap it. That's going to go on the barbie. Now, just to let you know, we're barbecuing today, but with the lamb chops, with the chicken and with the fish, they can all go in the oven if you haven't got a barbecue handy. Right, let's go and do it. Okay, so we're all fired up, super hot, charcoal in there. Let's start off by dropping on some of our lamb chops. Now I've got one of those kind of adjustable height things. I can lower this down. So it doesn't go crazy up and down as you like, you know. Low and slow is always the answer I find with barbecue. So there goes our lamb chops. Foiled up on she goes at the back there. Bit of space there for the chicken. And then chicken time, on they go. One and two. Now of course we're gonna be turning this often. I've got a little bit of the, I don't know if you can see that, the sun's really bright here. A little bit of the marination there from one chicken and a little bit from the other. And I'm gonna be popping that on and we're just gonna be, you know, flipping stuff over here on a regular basis. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. If you fancy a nice cold beer now, now's the time. Okay, so these are now done, well, nearly done, but I've got here a little bit of sauce here. This is Worcester sauce or Worcestershire sauce or some Americans call it, you pronounce it Worcester sauce with ketchup. Just gonna just brush it now. Give it a little brush for the last couple of minutes, you know. Nice and sweet and tangy. It's nice to sort of add on just at the end. There you go, literally just some mustard and olive oil onto the chicken and again just another couple of minutes on each side and we're done absolutely wonderful man at man cooker Okay, there you go. So um, I think I might eat that now. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Low and slow is always the answer on a barbecue, I find. Beautiful chops, nice and sticky now. We put the glaze on it. Just fantastic. We're going to go and eat that now. Delicious. See you soon.